Hello friends, so uh, you all are welcome in our second part of this video tutorial in which we are going to discuss some specific strong artificial intelligence, some examples of some strong artificial intelligence. So uh, basically these are not uh, exactly the examples of artificial intelligence, sorry, the strong artificial intelligence because they are not following all the rules, all the uh, requirements that we need uh, for seeing a machine strong AI. But still, they are having that kind of features by which we can say we can just categorize them into very close to strong artificial intelligence machines. One of them, or we can say the most popular of them is Sophia, the robot hat. Sophia, uh, you must have heard this name before, say in Facebook or in YouTubes or in news and so many uh, places you must ha have heard this name before. Uh, this specific robot had has been given the nationality by Saudi Arabia recently. So this is one of uh, the robot we can say that is very close to humans. And this may be probably one of the most advanced logical thinking robot. And it almost seems like strong artificial intelligence. Basically, Sophia is created for interacting with people to... Uh, get their queries to interact with them and then give some specific or realistic answers to those people about that any specific topic which they want to discuss with. If we talk about the facial expressions and uh, the way it interacts with people, it is very uh, realistic and it is very near to humans. Uh, yet we are saying that it is probably the closest machine to emulating a human in terms of socializing, but still we cannot say that Sophia, the robot head, is uh, the purest example of strong artificial intelligence because first thing that it think it learn from logical way, it do not have some cognitive way uh, for learning purpose, and uh, she can yet be classified as high and weak artificial intelligence as she has the ability to learn and make uh, inferences at the basic level. But still what we need about arti strong artificial intelligence, all the features, uh, it lacks with many of the features of them. That's why Sophia, the robot had, is not exactly the complete strong artificial intelligence, but yeah, she is very close or a high and weak artificial intelligence. The second example is Android F, sorry, Actroid F. Actroid F is very well known for looking exactly like a human. If you talk about facial expressions, if you talk about the way it uh, interacts with the people, you can never say that it's a robot or a human. Many times she fooled many people when she was at the hospital and they were not able to tell her apart from other people. So you can say how uh, near, how close it uh, to the realisticity of a human being. But that was only the facial expressions or the physical appearance. On the basis of that, we cannot say that any machine is complete artificial intelligence machines or uh, expert, uh, sorry, strong artificial intelligence machine. But we can say it is similar. Uh, its basic working is same as Sophia. It basically interacts with people. It emulates the facial patterns of humans um, as Sophia do. Uh, but she looks more natural and realistic beyond that. Okay, uh, if you come to the strong AI part, uh, it is very close to strong artificial intelligence, but it does not learn uh, nearly as well as humans do. Its learning capability is not as humans. Uh, it uses logical thinking and it follows some specific algorithms. That's why we cannot say that it is basically an, a, a good example of strong artificial intelligence. And a third, and uh, we can say the very close to strong artificial intelligence is IBM Watson. We can <coughs> treat it as the closest to strong artificial intelligence that researchers have made yet. Uh, IBM Watson uses cognitive thinking that we were discussing till yet that the machine should follow cognitive thinking for being more realistic and for being uh, more common to human thinking way. Uh, so instead of following the logical thinking, it follow cognitive thinking. And this is the first step of making artificial intelligence that are able to solve problems on their own. This is 
very uh, good example of uh, near very near strong artificial intelligence as it do have these two specific capabilities one it follows cognitive thinking approach and second it do have uh, many possibilities that it can uh, or you can say not possibilities but exactly what it do it can solve many problems by its own it do have that kind of thinking approach in it so in that way it is very common to humans but still for its uh, task for many of the instructions to be fed inside this machines it require the interaction of human it need some people to fed information into it that's why in that way we can say that it is not complete strong artificial intelligence but still if we talk about the closest to strong artificial intelligence then ibm watson is uh, the very best example of this one so guys there are many other machines also uh, people are uh, really working on that many scientists or researchers are working on that for creating strong artificial intelligence these three examples are not enough for showing uh, the complete examples of strong artificial intelligence uh, but completely they are enough to discuss the things that we are in a very early stage of strong artificial intelligence we all are working on that and very soon uh, we may uh, get some examples which we can say that yes this is a very completely strong artificial intelligence machine but the day are not yet we are we just have to work very hard for that and definitely we all are working so guys this is enough for this video lecture in next video we will discuss some other artificial intelligence topic for that please like and subscribe thank you very much